Hey everybody, uh, you remember my uh, fall diorama from my previous videos? Uh, if you don't, well, what the hell's wrong with you? Go back and watch the uh, videos where I made this thing. Anyways, what I got for the diorama is this eagle. I don't know if I can get close up of this or not. If it'll focus, it has a little yellow beak on him and stuff. And what I'm gonna do, he has a mold tab. I don't know if you can see it right there, you know, where they molded the thing. So I flattened that out. And what I'm going to do is up in this corner, I'm going to raise this up. Take a knife and put a little slit right in the sky and then push that eagle, the molding tab, into that slit so he's in the sky flying. Now, the only downside of this is it'll probably cast a shadow, but uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take because, you know, I, I live life on the edge. Okay, not really. All right, so I'm doing this in one take, so hopefully I don't screw it up. But if I do, well, you'll have something to laugh about. All right. So pull a slit right there. Let's see if I can get the eagle to go in. And it'll look beautiful. Or if not, this could be a disaster. Sure enough, it uh, kind of casts a shadow. So we do, we put a light. Well, that makes another shadow. I can't win. All right, so anyways, there's my eagle flying over my diorama. And by the way, the texture not an eagle. If you watched my last video, or I know I'm going to post this, but anyways, when I went to the train show, I bought a flock of seagulls. No, not the singing group, these guys right here. And I painted it to make it look like an eagle. And honestly, would you know the difference between a seagull and an eagle? An HO scale, anyways? All right. So there we have it. We have an eagle, a hiker, Whatever that guy is, you decide. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.